We've talked about how when you're doing renovation projects there's a lot of problem solving involved. Today's bit of problem solving is to work out what this mystery pipe is. Hiya folks, welcome back. So, today's challenge, in another video that's either coming up or it might have already been on the channel, but uh, in another video you'll see we're running the new water supply into this property and uh, because we've got the old lead supply at the moment and that needs to come out and, and a brand new MDP plastic supply needs to come in and the exact spot where I want to bring the supply in is in this corner here and that's pretty much my only option for where the supply can come in because looking from the outside to the left of this we've got a wall and to the right of this we've got this drain I mean this drain needs to be replaced anyway which that'll probably be on a future video but the only real place that we can bring this water supply in is kind of here but that red mark is exactly where that cast iron underground pipe is so that pipe is going to get in the road unless we can get rid of it the big mystery is what is it we know it's not gas because the property's never had gas before unless it could have been an old coal gas or town gas supply they used to be around or oh, a long time ago i can't remember exactly well uh, like 40s 50s maybe maybe before that even but uh, yeah so it could be a very old gas supply it could be an old electric supply it's not in the area that the CAT scanner showed where the live electric supply is coming in and I'm not picking up any kind of live electric signal from that but that's still not 100% it could well be shielded from the metal pipe. I've also talked before about making sure you get safe dig plans, speaking to all the utility companies involved. We know it's not gas, we know that the water supply is lead so really the only option is that it could be electric and uh, this is the thing that I'm a little bit worried about. I don't want to exactly just cut this pipe away and remove it if there's a live electric supply running through it but I don't think it is. Just to confirm in the kitchen I finally ripped out what was the kitchen. Here you can see the lead water supply coming in it's definitely 100% that that's lead so we know it's not like some weird cast iron water supply but in the process of ripping the kitchen out I found this little cast iron kind of pipe sticking up it was completely embedded in the wall you can see where I've chipped the plaster away but this was just sticking out the corner here and you can see there's been something running up the wall kind of here-ish so my guess is that that is that pipe because it's more or less in line with it so that pipe would follow along there and into the cupboard under the stairs so that would be in the correct place to confirm what I've done is I've ground away down to bare metal just with the angle grinder on the edge of this pipe here and out where the pipe is running through the actual garden and I've dug down and I found the pipe here and I've ground away a bit of the metal it's actually bitumen coated on here which is interesting but I've ground down to bare metal and I've clamped on some you can just about see this bare copper wire clamped on with my mole grips there so I've got this wire running all the way around all the way around to here blah 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 so here is the end of that wire so theoretically if that is the same pipe there should be continuity between this wire and that so let's find out if there is so just to check I've got my meter here I've just got it in continuity mode for detecting resistance at the minute and it's working so here is the end of that red wire hold that on one of the contacts just pop that there so you can hopefully see it so here's the end of that wire and here's the pipe and we're definitely getting continuity so that would tend to indicate that this cut off pipe here does connect through to that pipe running through the garden so it would tend to indicate that that pipe 
is dead. I mean, this is uh, obviously being cut off and there's, there's nothing going on there. The only slight problem here is if I continue to hold a connection to the red wire, and I don't know if you can see here, don't worry, the, these aren't live, but this earth wire here is connected to the house earth electrics. And if I put the other side of the meter onto that, try and show you while holding the meter. So I'm now measuring continuity between that cast iron pipe in the garden and earth on the electrics. And you can see I'm absolutely getting continuity there. So it's not 100% guaranteed that that pipe is a dead pipe because it is connected to earth somehow. But if it was an old electric supply, then it would probably be connected to earth in the street, I would have thought. Someone who's more knowledgeable can tell me. But uh, I'm relatively confident that that pipe is dead. One other thing I've done, just to be completely on the safe side, is that I've, here's the red line that I was picking up with the CAT scanner from uh, a live electric survey. And sure enough, down here, I don't know if you can see, but there is, that's a live electric supply coming in. That is uh, the actual real I am, danger, danger, do not dig through that. But this is the mystery pipe that I want to get rid of. So I'm 99% certain that it's going to be safe to cut that out. Um, just 99% certain. I'm just going to have to very tentatively go into it try and maybe take out a section of pipe and have a look at what's inside it um, and take it from there. We shall see. Fingers crossed, there's not a lot more I can do here. I need to get that pipe out the road. It's not showing up on any plans. No utility company knows about it. Uh, let's see what happens next. <laughs> And there we have it, it's dead. <laughs> that's very, very good news. I can't, how hot's that bit of metal? Very hot probably. There's the old uh, bit that I've cut out. And you can see, it looks like it was an old electricity supply duct through a metal pipe, bitumen coated metal pipe, by the looks of it, but completely dead. 
nothing inside that at all I can get rid of it that is absolutely brilliant news live electrics is definitely down there that's the one I need to avoid this can go a journey just so you know my approach for how I've done this and this is a completely last resort situation I do not ever advise cutting into an unknown pipe with an angle grinder but I've gone through all of the steps that you have to go through before resorting to something like this I've spoken to the gas board the electric board and the water board I know it's none of those things I've done a continuity test on it there's an, I've done CAT scans there's really not a lot more I could do other than very very carefully and tentatively going into it so what I did was I ground in very carefully from the top first of all and that was really to check you know is it water or gas it, it shouldn't be either of those things but if it was then putting a very very small hole in the pipe from the top you would expect stuff to come out and nothing did come out and then really the only final option is that there could have been live electric cables running through the pipe so what I did was I very carefully cut around at the top on both sides and then through the side and through the side so that I could take this section of metal out but hopefully that would have avoided hitting any cables inside the pipe but as you can see the pipe's completely empty I can now cut that off safely and it can go a journey and I'm going to take it out completely up the length of the garden so that it'll never get in anyone's road ever again tremendous news and now it means I can crack on and get our water supply put in As I say, you are on your own when it comes to something like this. Always speak to all of the utility companies first. Do tests and tests and tests again. This is entirely your own responsibility if you want to take on a job like this. I do not recommend it, but sometimes needs must. And in this situation, I've literally got no other option. But I think I've gone through it as safely as I can go through it. And we've resolved a problem at the end of it. So the big question in all of this is what was this pipe used for? Any guesses, put it down in the comments because I'm really 50-50 between it either being an old town gas supply or an electric duct. Now, the only thing is we saw before that we were getting continuity through this uh, to electric earth. And I don't think you would get such a low resistance if it was just ground well and it can't be grounded just through the earth outside because it's got the bitumen coating on it so I don't think that's just coming that that's got to have a physical connection to the electricity supply earth for you to get like such a low resistance reading I don't know if you can see so that there we go we, we were getting exactly the same resistance as if we were just joining the um, probes of a meter together. The question is, now that we've removed the pipe, the pipe doesn't exist anymore, and if it was bonded to the electricity supply earth, you would expect that would be done out in the street. So if the pipe's removed, there shouldn't now be any continuity between here and the electricity supply earth. So I've run a cable again from the electricity supply earth to here so that is connected to 
the, the power boards earth. So, electricity supply earth here. One on there. And let's try it. And guess what? There's just touching the meter probes together and there's electricity supply earth to that pipe. And you might as well say that we're touching the meter probes together. So, okay, that's interesting. How is this getting such a good connection to the electricity supply earth when it's cut off and not connected to anything? My only potential explanation for this is that the electricity supply, the live electricity supply comes in over here underneath this doorway and it comes along here and, and around to the meter box and whatnot. So it could be that obviously this pipe is going like that away, electricity supply comes in that away. Maybe at the point that they cross under the floor here, they've bonded this pipe to the sheath of the electricity supply? Don't know. It would be an unusual thing to do, but I can't explain why that is getting such good continuity to earth. The pipe's cut off. It's a, this pipe only goes from here, like two meters in that direction, and, um, and then that's the end of it. It doesn't go out to the street anymore. So I'm still in two minds whether that was either a, an old town gas supply or an electric duct. I honestly don't know. And plus we've got like the chasing up the wall here. Is that, would you do that for the town gas supply? Let me know in the comments. Either way, we found out that the pipe was dead and not used for anything. And that was kind of the objective of this, but I would love to know your opinions of what you think this pipe was. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. Take care, folks. See you next time. Taddy, bye.